Hello everyone, welcome to the first video. I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an intro to Python and take a look at kind of what got me started as far as coding in Python, what really got me interested. And this little thing is called Python Turtle. And um, we'll take a look at it today. All right, so we're gonna do a little turtle race using Python now. Turtle is a library that's incorporated into Python. Um, we have to import it in and then we can play around with it. And it's, it's, just, it's just something fun to mess around with and get a feeling for coding before you start working with some of the numbers and that kind of thing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to first import turtle. And what that's going to do is that's going to import the library called turtle and allow us to work with it. So let's play around this a little bit. So we're gonna have our little turtle we're gonna make. We're gonna go turtle dot forward 50. And so what this is before we run it <coughs> is you're gonna tell, you're using this method, that's what this is called right here, after the period, referencing in the library. We're gonna have the turtle move forward 50. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, notice it went off screen very quickly. It's because some interpreters, not all of them, but some of them, require you to put turtle dot done at the end to get it to stay on the screen instead of just flashing. All right, so let's take a look at this. So what we have here, this little arrow, this is what, he's call, what we're calling the turtle, and we're gonna have it move forward 50 pixels. Started here, move forward 50 pixels. Now, it doesn't look, look, look much like a turtle, so we're going to change its shape really quick. We're gonna go turtle dot shape. Um, we're going to call it turtle. Again, this is all part of this, this library, so this turtle is our, the shape is already defined. We'll run this again, and as you can see, this is now a little turtle shape. So our little turtle started here and moved forward 50 pixels. Now maybe we want him to move backward. Oh, I probably got a good idea what we're going to do for that. We're going to go turtle dot backward. We're going to have him move backward 100 pixels. All right, so let's run that. So we move forward 50 and backwards 100. Now it's moving kind of fast. And so what we're gonna do to fix that, we're gonna add a little line. <clears throat> we're gonna say turtle.speed. And we're gonna set the speed to one. So this speed can be set anywhere from zero to 10. If you set it to zero, it'll happen instantaneously. So we want it to move a bit slower, a little bit slower. So we're gonna set it to one. Uh, 10 again 10 being the fastest so let's see what let's see what happens now as you can see slower turtle moving backwards and forward okay so if you notice there's a little line that he's creating behind him so we can make that line disappear or not show basically where the turtle has been kind of like the path he's traveled we can add a line called turtle dot pen up, just like taking a pen off a piece of paper, and we'll run that, and you'll see now he's moving and not leaving a line behind him. So that's kind of important for what we want to do, because we want, the first thing we want to do is set up a little finish line over on this right side that shows where the, uh, where the turtles are going to ultimately end. So we're going to work with this turtle some more. We're going to delete the forward and backward. We don't care about that. So we want to get the turtle to move over to the side, over up here. And how we get him to move up there is we're going to do something called go to. So turtle dot go to. I want to have him go to x y. So what this is saying is this is set up like a grid. This is the x chord. This is the x axis. This is the y axis up and down. And we want him to move over here first, and then up. So we're gonna go 350, so he's gonna move forward 350 in the X, and he's going to move, we want him to be up here to start drawing, drawing the line down. We're gonna say 150 in the Y, so 150 in the Y. And let's, let's run this and see what it looks like now. All right. Good, exactly what we expected. He moved forward 350 and up 
150 in the Y. So now we want to put our pin down. So just like we did before, we're going to go pin, oops, turtle.pin down. And we're going to have him move from the 150 in the Y, which is up here, to negative 150, which is down here. So all we do is we go turtle dot go to, just like before, 350 in the X, and negative, again, negative 150 in the Y. Now let's give that a run and see what it looks like. So he's moving up, and he's drawing our line for us. Good. So, we need to get some more turtles on this screen. So, how we do that is we go, we're going to call our first turtle Jim. We're going to Jim equals turtle dot turtle. And that creates another turtle called Jim. Now let's see what happens when we do this. Drawing our line down. And that's where Jim appears. Jim appears right here. This is happening, the little line drawing at the end is happening a little slow. So we're going to set this speed to zero. So that this line drawing turtle just go, does it really fast. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go and make him disappear at the end. So we're going to go turtle dot hide turtle. And so what that does, this little shape right here is never going to show. Or it's going to show after he draws a line. Excuse me. So let's see what happens now. So he moved really fast, drew the line, and then we he hid. So you can't see him anymore. Only Jim here is left. So we're going to have two turtles in this first simple little race. Call the other one Bob. Bob equals turtle dot turtle. Okay. So what this does when you name them like this, it's going to allow you to use all these little turtle methods we used before, but they're going to have a name instead of turtle, they're going to be Jim or Bob. So what we're going to do, we're going to say Jim is going to go forward. Jim's going to go forward 300 pixels. So let's, let's give this a try. So we drew a line, and then Jim Turtle moved forward 300, oh, yeah, 300 pixels. Jim moved forward 300 pixels. Bob just stayed around here. So we want these turtles to not have a line after them all the time, because they're, they're here in the center. Our starting line is going to be over here, right? So we're going to, excuse me, we're Okay, we don't want Jim to have a line behind him though. So before he was drawing this line, so we're gonna hide like we did before with the pin up tool. We're gonna hide the pin, or sorry, pick up the pin. So we're gonna go Jim dot pin up. And that's gonna have Jim not leave a line behind him. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, see what we did? We made a mistake not paying attention. This pinup is before is after he moves forward. So he's got the pin up here, but he'd still do the line, drew the line. So what we're gonna do is we're going to delete this and put it at the beginning. So Jim dot pin up. And now he'll take his pin up and then he'll move forward. So this should work this time. As we can see, Jim's not leaving a line behind him. So we're gonna do the same we're gonna we're gonna have him start at the center again. We're gonna have both turtles be at the center. We're not gonna have him move forward. We want to get both Jim and Bob to be over here at the start line. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Jim pin up and Bob pin up because we don't want them riding on the ground until they get to the starting line. And we're going to have them move to positions just like we did over here in this one. So for Jim, for Jim, we're going to say go to on the x-axis, the horizontal axis, we're going to have him go to 
negative 350 and 0 in the Y. So he's going to be on the center line. We're going to have Bob dot go to negative 350. So they start at the same place over here. But we're going to have him be a little bit down from Jim. We'll have him be down here. So we're going to do negative 100 in the Y. And I'll see what happens now. All right, so we drew our line, and both our turtles are in their, their positions they're going to be to start this race. In fact, let's, uh, let's make it a little more even so they're spaced evenly with the, the lines. So we're going to change Jim from 0 to 100. So he is going to be, instead of here, he'll be up here. Let's see what that looks like. There's Jim moving to his starting position, and Bob moving to his starting position down here. Good. All right. So we're going to have them both put their pens down. So Jim.pen down. This is a new one. We haven't... Oh, we did. We got to it already. Pen down, just like up here. Pen down. We're going to tell Bob to put his pen down. And we're going to have him move to the finish line. So we're going to go... Jim dot forward 100, uh, sorry, not 100, 700. Now, how do we get 700? Because we started here and we went in negative 350. So we have to move forward 350 and then another 350 to get to the start, the finish line. So what we're going to do is have him move forward 700. We're going to have Bob forward 700. Okay. I'll run that. There's the line made. They're moving to their starting positions. Jim's going to move forward first. And then Bob is going to move forward. Okay. So, as you can see, this was happening first, and then this one's happening. That's where we're going to stop for this time. You've got a little bit of an introduction into how this turtle library works and a little bit as, as, as to how the Python language is structured. Um, again, with these methods referencing something in the turtle library um, and just some visualization as well. If you want to, before the next lesson, take a look at this website, uh, which I'll put a link below. Um, and it gives you documentation about how all of this works. It's a little bit lengthy, but as you can see, we talked about the forward a lot. Click on forward, turtle.forward distance. Turtle.forward 25 is going to make him move forward 25 like we talked about. And there's all kinds of different things you can play around with in here. In our next tutorial, we'll go, a little, we'll go into a little bit more detail about how we can make them have a race and talk about some introduction of variables and some different ways that we can uh, make this a little more interesting and brighten up the color some. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, we'll be back in a little bit with another one. Have a good day, and if you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe, and we'll be back with the next tutorial soon. Thank you.